go, dude. Um, I need my view up so I can see what the hell's going on. Uh, flashing light warning and whatnot. For some reason, this game and my capture setup do not get along. And every once in a while, there will be some flashing freaking screens. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So it just is what it is. And, um, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say about that. I don't often feel bad for NPCs. I do more often than I probably should. Cause I mean, like, they're just NPCs. They're just computers. But what? It's like, it's hard not to empathize sometimes, you know. Year one, summer ten. Here we go. So this is our. This is like our test. How long does it take to play like one day? Cause this is kind of my plan to get the cozy games in while still doing all the other stuff that we want to do is just playing like not necessarily every night but on a night like tonight where we weren't really feeling the game that we were playing playing like a day of cozy to to end it off might as well clear our machines out oh and then i remember it's been a while since we played so that's one thing we're gonna have to like try to remember what the hell we're doing again uh but i remember that if we don't let our animals out early enough it seems like they don't have a chance to eat outside or whatever. Breeding livestock. You can now apply breeding kits, which allow animals to give birth. Is there any reason, like, why we would want to breed them instead of just buying new ones? I mean, I guess, like, saving money. I guess that would be a thing. But outside of that, I don't know if there really is any reason for it. I love how, like, the eat thing keeps popping up. Because it makes me feel like we're eating our... Our dudes. Not, um... <laughs> not, like, the mayonnaise that we're holding. But, like, our cow, man. Do we only have two chickens? Or do we have three? I thought we had three. I guess we only have two. Um, okay. Now let's put some stuff away. You... Do we just click? We just click. Okay. Uh, nope. You don't go here. That's right. We have, like, this whole system now that we got going on. I don't know if it's a good system, but we got... <laughs> but we got a system nonetheless. Uh, so none of our machines are making anything here. So we actually just want to pull stuff out to make... Get these machines crafted, man. We don't want we don't want nothing sitting idle. And then salt. There we go. Dump you, not you. Dump you guys back in here. Make some mayonnaise and some yogurt and some butter. Give me that butter, though. And that's it. Okay. Now, we were keeping some stuff in the house, food-wise. It was things that stack infinitely we were going to keep in the house. And there were certain other things we were going to keep in the house, too. I think it was, like, some essentials. Or maybe we decided, like, fuck that. We're not keeping anything other than the things that stack infinitely. Once we get back in the house, I think, like, to the fridge, we should be able to tell pretty easily then which one it was. Uh, we probably won't need these tools, but we'll take them anyways. You know what? Screw it. We'll grab the leash, too, because we'll take, we'll take the kitty out for a walk while we're going around. It increases the friendship, so why not walk? And there doesn't seem to be any downside. Like, it just follows us around everywhere we go, and that's it. Yeah, okay. So, we are keeping stuff from our animals, and, th and then, like, the most basics of basics. So, like, yogurt, butter, mayonnaise, 
but not the base ingredients. So like, I'm not gonna put milk in here, for instance. Just the products of milk. Okay, that makes sense. And of course, this is a third quality of butter, so it doesn't, so it doesn't stack. Good shit, glad. <laughs> Same with the yogurt. This is why, this is why. This is why we weren't keeping things that don't just stack perfectly in here because that's freaking annoying. <laughs> like, why you gotta be like that game? So we can sell, screw it, sell the milk. I don't care. We don't need it that bad. Let's clear our farm. It's 9 a.m. Our farm is a mess for some reason. Did we not clear it the last time we played? Is there anything else we need to get rid of though? No, okay. It's literally just clearing. I know like our ax is pretty good now. Yeah, it can chop this shit down in like one hit, boy. Let's go. We can put you away. So we're not gonna need you anymore. Stop. I think what we were working, I think we were just working on trying to get money because originally we were going to do the whole like thing with getting the whatever materials we needed to unlock the new areas of the farm and whatnot, right? Like we were going to do progression that way. But at least so far, it's giving us the option to just pay cash money to unlock the new areas. So I think we decided that it would be easier if we just got some massive fields of stuff with some sprinklers and then just let it handle itself, basically, right? Like, we'll just we'll just collect the money. So we're going to need the money to do anything anyways. So we just going to get cash money and then pay people to clear shit for us is basically what we were doing. I also remember, I don't remember people's names, but I know there's a girl, two girls in town that we were slowly working on getting their, their hearts up, as well as of course, just like talking to people in general. Cause you know, you wanna be friendly with the town's folks. You don't want them to hate us or anything. Just not trying to be best friends with most of them. Cause like, ooh, fuck them. So we definitely don't need you or you anymore. These little puddles pretty much always useless, but we might as well still go ahead and empty them out. Like, worst case scenario, what? It's something that we just give to the museum and call it a day, like whatever. No biggie. Yeah, we're just gonna take that shit to the museum, hand it off, and then forget about it. So, whatever. But we do need to drop off all the stuff that we collected. So that'd be peppercorn and salt for you, and sugar cane. Silver ore go here. We really do need to get like an area just for our farm animals though, cause like this is a mess, man. <laughs> Having all the farm animals over here. Oh. That really makes shit rough. And then I think grass goes here. Yes. Look at me go. Remembering shit and whatnot. Clay. And then one of these will have other random crap. And then the pink cat flower, we can give that to somebody as a gift give it to one of the two girls that we were talking to. Uh, the heavy objects and stuff aren't worth anything. You can have the oyster and screw it. Take the oregano too. Don't care. So I guess we're done with all this stuff then. Uh, here. We're in here. You're not here today. Never mind. Where? The other one works at, like, the Bistro or whatever. Is it this one? Yeah, the Bistro. Wait, what day are you closed? Open every day. Aha, you. You get a flower today, because the other girl isn't freaking working, so... 
Blair, you get a present. There you go, baby girl. There's some movies and plays I want to see, but I'd have to make the trek to the city for that. I wonder when I'll get time to visit. Why do you, why like yeah. trek? Is there no like train or bus or boat or anything? <laughs> this place is busier than my hometown now. Is that really like a good thing though? It's kind of nice just living in a quiet, qu quiet, quiet, quaint little town, you know? That's not full of tourists and assholes. Oh, here's the other girl. Bridget, that's her name. Hi. Well, too late. <laughs> Bridget, I already gave your flower to Blair today, so get freaking wrecked, man. Hope you didn't want a flower that bad. Because you ain't getting shit now, dude. Silver ingot. We probably have one. And then we need floral perfume for the, like, DLC quest. Uh, okay. We'll accept everything. What was that, a mayonnaise maker? We already have, like, two of those. We really, really don't need another mayonnaise maker. Not gonna be mad about having a free mayonnaise maker or anything, but, like... Just feels a bit wow. unnecessary. Hello. Talk to all you people. Um. Nobody ever has anything interesting to say in this game, dude. After this game, oh. for the cozy game, I'm torn on whether we should play Stardew Valley, um, my favorite Harvest Moon, or another Story of Seasons game. I don't know. I kind of want to do another Story of Seasons game just because I haven't played them before, so like it's a new one to play. But at the same time, it's like, Stardew Valley is so freaking good. Um, Harvest Moon Back to Nature is just super nostalgic to me, like super freaking nostalgic to me. And then, oh, and then I think I also got Magical Melody on the GameCube. Didn't I end up getting a copy of that? I'm pretty sure I did. So like, that's another one that's, it's somewhat nostalgic to me. Like, I played it, but I didn't play it a bunch, bunch, you know? I played it, you think I did get it? I'm pretty sure I did end up picking up a copy of it. But like, anyways, yeah. So like, or we could play Magical Melody, I guess. Maybe I could actually beat it finally, like finish it. Uh, was I putting cloth in here? Yes, I was. I mean, we have space for another mayonnaise maker, so I guess I'll put another one down. But we really don't need another mayonnaise maker. Like, we don't we don't need three things of mayonnaise in a day. And now, now we're kind of out of things to do. Oh wait, silver ingot. We can take a silver ingot up. How many did we pick up? Just one. And then I guess we could either just mine or fish for the rest of the day. None of our trees have grown yet, right? No, not yet. Oh, well, can we fish here? Probably. I don't know if we've ever tried. I don't know if it even matters in this game where you fish at. It seems like you get more or less the same fish everywhere. There is, like... Like, the second area, you do seem to get a couple of things that you don't get in the other area. It's also weird that sometimes you just can't talk to people. Anyways, um... <laughs> yeah, there do there does seem to be a couple of fish, like, there that you can't get in the, like, the basic area or whatever. But for the most part, it seems like it's more or less the same fish everywhere you go. Which is kind of ass. Here you go, Jacopo. I'll take my 500 gold. Many thank. Sorry, flashing. And I mean, I know we need more silver and iron because we're trying to fill out those fields, but like, fuck it. Let's spend a day fishing, man. I like fish. Yeah, I have all of like the mainline Story of Seasons games.
Rune Factory, that was another one I almost forgot about. We got Rune Factory now to play. Uh, I definitely want to try that one out at some point, because I've never played one before. I mean, I might have played, like, a tiny bit of one on the PS2 or something back in the day. But I've never, like, actually played one. I know that much for sure. Story of Seasons, Rune Factory, Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley. So, like, there's a few options. I think I have all of the Story of Seasons and Rune Factory games that are out for PC, I think. And then... I'm sure I have a couple more on, like, consoles or whatever. I mean, like, this one I'm playing on console. I didn't own this one on PC whenever I started playing it. Otherwise, I would have just played it on PC to begin with. Then we wouldn't be having the weird flashing lights problem. But I didn't want to, like, restart the game, you know, after <laughs> after having already gotten through, like, a month or something like that. I was really hoping as we upgraded our fishing rod that we would start catching better fish. But the game just told us, like, no on that, man. <laughs> like, better fish? The fuck is that? Okay, we need to be careful. This one's a hard one. I didn't see what rating it had. Whenever you get a nibble, you get, like, exclamation marks over your head. And it seems like depending which exclamation marks you get, you get a better or worse fish. A sea bass? Have we donated a sea bass before? That's another thing this game is really freaking missing. Some sort of donation tracker or anything of the sort. Just to let you know, like... Hey, this is safe to give away, or hey, this is not safe to give away. <laughs> like, take this bitch to the museum, please. Also, what you've sold and not, because the grocery store, or just the various stores in town, they, they get new stock depending what you've shipped and what you haven't. But as far as I can tell, there's no way to track that in the game. Okay, well, the museum doesn't care about quality, so we're going to swap those two out. This is an easy one. We can just hold it. That sardine, though. Getting all the sardines. Marie over here just chilling next to us. Look at her, dude. She's being a good girl. You know what we should do? We should go get her a treat. Give her a little treat. Make her feel happy. I don't know if we can give treats to our farm animals or just our pets. Have we ever tried to give one to one of our farm animals? We'll take one fancy treat and one regular pet treat. Here, you can have the fancy treat, Marie. There you go, dude. And then, uh, Ellen. No, okay. So that's for pets only. That's fine. I, I, I kind of figured, but I wasn't sure. So, like, so far, what's our haul, right? Because we're at, we'll say 4,800. Hey, the sea bass is worth something. So like, like 560 gold so far. I imagine as the game progresses, fishing will be more worth it. But right now it really just doesn't seem worth it, man. You make so little money off of fish. A herring, I'm pretty sure we caught a herring before. I don't think that's new. Another herring. Cool. Let's go ahead and switch spots. Let's try the the. There's the river over here. Oh, there's a flower here. We'll pick that since we're up here too. Throw it in the box. Give it to Blair or the other girl, Bridget. Her name is Bridget. Like, over there, we were technically fishing in the ocean, right? Unless we're just surrounded by a giant lake. That was the ocean. Giant freshwater prawn. Okay, so it does seem to recognize the difference between, like, freshwater and ocean water. 
but I'm pretty sure we end up getting a lot of the same fish between the two still. Maybe not, maybe I'm just crazy. Come on, bro. I mean, the one nice thing about this being a bitch to catch is it probably means it's gonna be worth it. A snakehead, that's definitely new. I haven't seen a snakehead before. Maybe we just weren't fishing like high enough up in the river when we were fishing in the river before. Maybe that's our problem. I'm not 100% positive on the giant freshwater prawn. I thought we caught one before, but I could be wrong on that one too. Tilapia, I'm pretty sure we've gotten tilapia. I'm a little tired. Look how many hearts we have left. You're not tired at all, bro. <laughs> You're smoking crack. You're fine. A dace. Dace seems familiar. Like, one of the reasons why I really wanted to play this story of seasons specifically was because of the museum and the collection stuff the crafting system was kind of interesting too like just having the ability to craft things but honestly now that like i see it's all just machines and you have to collect stuff constantly and wait for them to be made and just i don't know i'm just not a big fan of it the machine thing the constant refilling and then grabbing and then refilling again back and forth back and forth if there was some automated way to just like if you could just dump everything in a machine if there was no limit to how much stuff i could put in or if the limit was like incredibly high i think it would be less annoying but the way they have it is just like meh <laughs> like honest ooh, that was a two two thingy uh, you're coming in real easy, though. It's probably one of those, like, sparkly fish, which they're worth, like, 500 or something. Yeah. They're worth money, so I ain't mad about that. But anyways, I think I'd, I think I actually prefer the Stardew, where it's just, like, one at a time. I don't, I don't know why, but for some reason that feels better to me than having, like, to load you can load 10 at a time and then <laughs> at some point in the future i don't know man it's not, it makes no sense i'm literally making no sense but for some reason it just feels better to me in that way maybe because like i don't have so many machines all over the place or something i don't know so herring 72 not bad uh, i mean I don't know, maybe we haven't gotten a giant freshwater prawn before? I'll keep one, just in case. Cause I can't, I can't remember for sure. Now just hopefully the next time we play I remember to put it back. Or to take it to the museum, not to put it back. We'll put that in there, and I totally forgot to grab the thing I said I was gonna grab up here. The flower. So let's go back and grab that real quick. There we go. Were we putting them in here? We were. The oregano goes in the house. And then that'll be it. That's our day done. I'm not trying to split. I'm trying to put in. We were trying to make every recipe too, but then that also got annoying. Yum Moon Sun. What do we need? Squid? Squid, shrimp, onion, cucumber. I think as we upgrade our house, I think our uh, fridge gets bigger and bigger. So maybe once it gets like really large, then maybe we'll uh, try and come back and make some more of this stuff. Ooh, this one should be easy. Or have we made it before? We have not. So all we need is some beans. Do we have any beans outside? If we have any beans, we'll go ahead and make that one. Just because, like, it's it's easy. 
small fish. So that's probably like anchovy, right? So anchovy and bean is what we need. Anchovy and bean. The honey though, look at look at the thing for the honey. That's so cute. Okay. We're gonna grab that real quick and then we're gonna call it for the night. <laughs> real freaking quick, man. Anchovy and bean. So beans would be here. If we have any, we do. Give me one bean, please. And then out of the shipping container, grab or sardine, I guess. Sardine would be a small fish, I'm assuming. And then cook the things. Were they this one? Uh, isn't there a way to just like auto? Yeah, auto select. Lowest quality first. Cook. Nice. We got some udon and some soba. Uh, return, please. Lowest quality first. Cook. Nice. We got more food. Not that we really need more food. Look at our inventory. It's it's basically full of food. There's just not that many things that, like, take up your energy in this game. Sleep. So how long did that take? Less than a half hour, yeah. So I think we can probably play a night of this, like, pretty often, man. Again, I'm not gonna say every night, but... I think we can play a night of this like every couple of streams or something like that, at least. That way we can do cozy game. It's also, I feel like, a decent way to kind of wind down the night too. Buenos dias stream! I thought I'd let you know about the Summer Jamboree coming up. We're holding it three days from today. During the Jamboree, the town competes in a little game we like to call the Hammer Strike. Who will come out on top? Who in all of town will beat the heat and rule the summer? Just kidding. Emilio and Raul have started doing training exercises for it, but Marcus is a top contender. He'll be the one to beat. Between you and me, though, I think you're a shoe in to win. Don't let me down. How? Are we just hammering things? Are we just, like... Just been, dude, we look so dead inside. <laughs> I mean, like, same, but holy shit. Okay, we're saving, and then we calling it, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out while we uh, played some PS2 garbage and uh, a little bit of Story of Seasons. I appreciate you all. I'll hopefully see you the day after tomorrow on Sunday. Have a good night, y'all. Be kind to each other. Thank you for the bit, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Swift hammer? Okay. That hurt a little bit, but Elagos can heal himself just fine.